All right, our pieces are cut out. You'll notice that I cheated with that one rather than poking the scissors through, I cut through it. And yes, I cut, I poked through and cut those bits out there. Um, it's annoying to do, but it looks so much better when it's done. So let's start gluing these on. I use foam pop dots. I like to use ones that are fairly thin because I want dimension to this, but I don't want the card to end up being like a half an inch thick. And these ones, the tops are fighting with me. There we go. And then it's like, it's just piecing because you're just matching the pattern exactly where it is on the card. And with such a large piece like this, I do like to put a lot of them on there so that it doesn't cave on some parts of it. Press them down First, and then let's take these backings off. It's kind of necessary to have nails to take these backings off. Um, it makes it easier for sure. If you don't, then just take a pair of tweezers and that will help you pull the tape backings off as well. And then I do like to put a little tiny dab of glue where this stem is. And I'll show you what I do with that in just a second. All right, so once again, this gets glued exactly over top of the image. I like to hold this down. It just gives it a little bit of a flow to it. And then I do a similar thing with the top of the mushroom. I'll put the, whoops. That one flipped and stuck to me. I'll put the foam dots in the center and then I'll put some glue on the sides to flatten that and it just so this is glued to the second layer it just gives it a little bit more curve to it. It's one of those things that's not absolutely necessary but I just like the way it looks. I think it gives it more interest. And hold that down for a second so it does glue down. And then I do the same thing with the stem from the flower here. Just a couple pop dots to hold it up. And then I'll put some glue sorry half a sentence there I'll put some glue on the end of the stem here to glue it down there we go All right, last steps are to add the remaining details. So I'm gonna cut through the adhesive strip. This is already spaced, so I'm just gluing it straight down. For the little warts on the mushroom, I've just got some um, Nouveau drops. This is a white one, so it's just gonna add dimension. It's gonna make those dots um, glossy. And just give the mushroom a little bit more life, a little bit more interest, a little bit more dimension. 
So sometimes there's a little sticky string at the end of this. If you lift it straight up, that usually detaches and it just goes right um, onto the dot that you just put there. If you happen to go like this, then sometimes you'll get a little string that goes to the side. So I just get into the habit of lifting straight up. Now let's give her some shimmery wings. In my opinion, fairies need shimmery wings. There we go. I'm also going to add a little bit of shimmer to the stamen on the flowers, but I want to give them a tiny bit of color underneath. So just a dot of yellow there. And then for the snail, let's make his shell shiny. So I put it all over his shell. I didn't put it on his body. And then let's give him a little bit of a slime trail underneath and behind him there. So there we go. We're gonna set that one aside completely to dry. And once it's dry, this is what you have there. So some 3D dimension popped up, plus the dimension from the stickles, the glossy accents, and that sort of thing.